Well, the play is a, a grand tragedy. and It's a story about a homeless woman who lives underneath a bridge with her five fatherless children. And basically it's about her struggles trying to navigate the system to find sustenance. It was the second runner-up for the Pulitzer Prize back in 02. Susan Laurie Parks is a very celebrated and very powerful writer. The, the issue of homelessness is a global issue, and we all experience it um, one way or another, even if it's just passing homeless people on the freeway or in the street. They deserve a voice, too. Susan Laurie Parks has given them a voice here. There's a tragic message, but um, th there's also a message of redemption. Um, there's a message that uh, once again displays how the human spirit uh, can overcome all of the material and worldly obstacles it encounters. I didn't um, make the choice of the play. They called me and said, this is the play we want to do and would you direct it? And I immediately asked them if they were crazy because <laughs> Knowing the Claremont community, I thought it was too raw. Uh, certain parts of it are very violent, very profane, and very risky. So I applauded them for their bravery. And I said, well, okay, I'm going to really do it now. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'm going to try to bring out all the truth in the script that I possibly can. And they said, well, Kishanka, just go for it. I grew up in theater in New York, so um, I've been in theater ever since I was an adolescent. There were a lot of theaters um, at the time in Harlem during the Black Arts Movement. I've had a chance to work um, in the theater as actor, producer, director, playwright, stage manager. I've basically done it all. Directing seems to be the place where I can be of the most service. I like watching people bring a script to life. I like to see the process unfold. Uh, I enjoy it. I think um, as a director, I, I'm considered very actor friendly. I could be wrong, but uh, <laughs> that's been the, uh, the word for some years now. Uh, there's nothing like live theater, and when live theater is really happening and things are operating on all cylinders, you get an experience like no other. So um, come to see some great performances for one thing. People are very accommodating. People are um, very interested in getting the work done and doing whatever it takes to make sure that a person is in a position where they can succeed. Though there are some things that give you more gray hair, the team came together through our hardship and I think that we're on a real course now to have a really great show.